Okay, so uh, welcome to the VTiger CRM training video set. This is a basic training video set, uh, and there are people watching at the time of this recording. So um, please excuse the language that's used, but it's to talk to people, uh, not to a screen. So, um, so first of all, what is uh, VTiger CRM? It's a, a CRM like the many others, um, you know, Microsoft Dynamics, um, Sugar CRM, and VTiger is just the one that we're using now. Uh, VTiger CRM is free to use. Um, you can modify it. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, it's it's a great uh, it's a great CRM in my opinion, and hence the video series on it. So it it, uh, it runs on free systems as well. So it's free to get VTiger CRM, but to host it and use it, it relies on open source technologies such as Apache, MySQL, uh, and, and PHP, and so on. Uh, unlike others alternatives such as uh, Microsoft Dynamics, which relies on a heavy integration with Office, which needs licenses. Um, it relies on um, SQL Server, which needs licenses. Uh, CRM itself needs licenses. Uh, the servers that they're running on probably need licenses. So, um, you know, it, it, there's a fair bit involved. So, VTiger is a is a nice alternative. Okay, so knowing what CRM is is probably not the most useful information for you, given that you just want to use it. So, let's get started. You can see that we're using VTiger CRM 5.0.4. Uh, there are later versions at the moment, which include security enhancements. But uh, for the sake of what we're doing, oh, it also includes some functionality enhancements as well. But for the sake of this video, it's not going to make a lot of difference to us. So the first thing I want to do is uh, log in. We're logging in as an administrative user. And the first thing I want to do is uh, have a look at the navigation options quickly and then move over to creating a new user so that we can use uh, VTiger CRM without causing any damage because, of course, you don't want to use a system like this as an administrative user. Too many problems can happen. So let's log in. And we can see that the screen is basically divided into two parts. You have the navigation system at the top and the body content at the bottom. This body content will change often but the menu system won't change. Now just have a quick note here that it, the settings option is only available to an administrative user. Uh, so if you're a normal user, you probably won't have access to that. Uh, as you hover your mouse over, you get the sub-menus that are relevant to the main menu that you're hovering over. And you get two options here that are very useful. One is the, uh, the quick create option, so I can quickly create a contact. You see I get minimal information. We'll see later on that when you create a contact through a, the, the proper means, if you like, you get a lot more information. So if you're going to create a contact by this way or, or anything by this way, you're only creating the basics. You should really go back in there later on and complete that information. And the search. The search is quite neat. It will search through all modules uh, that you have uh, installed in your C uh, VTiger CRM. Um, it, it may be ov overwhelming at first because it gives uh, a lot of results for modules that uh, don't contain any uh, information. So presumably, well, for example, you might search for uh, a user James or a contact James, and James may only be a contact and not have any other references at all in your VTiger CRM, but you'll see the report come back with um, you know, no result from accounts, no result from inventory, no result from whatever. But um, short of that, it does go through every module, so you're going to get a good list of results. Um, Finally, as uh, for the sake of navigation, this open all menu is a very quick way to navigate from one point to another within VTiger CRM. Of course, you can just use the top menus here, uh, but if you hover over, you don't have to. Uh, you can see straight away what is within each menu, so the sub menus with, it, with each uh, main heading. Okay, so. Uh, we've now had a look at how we navigate very briefly, but I also want to uh, go into the settings and create a new user for ourselves. So under settings, we can see a lot of options here. Let me scroll down and show you what they all are. We'll come back in here later on because I want to show you some customization options and uh, and um, that we will report on later on. Uh, but for the for what we're talking about now, we'll have a look at the users now. We can see profiles, roles, and users. Users belong to roles and roles belong to profiles. So really you should start here uh, for your customization uh, when you're setting up a new environment for CRM, but your administrator will be doing that if that's not you. And, uh, and all you'll really need to do at the end of the day is log in, but I will show you how to create a user anyway. So if we hit users, 
we'll be using the uh, example uh, sorry the the pre-installed um, groups and profiles and, and roles so uh, just to make this a little bit quicker you can see also that I've created a user Fred and Fred is a vice president um, I just wanted to add a, an extra user there just to differentiate but we've got the administrative user which uh, I'm logged in as at the moment and you can see in your admin field it's uh, the admin field is on however for Fred and standard user it's off and we can also see that the uh, status is active for each of these so let's create a new user we'll call a new user James uh, sorry yeah the username can be James that's fine uh, password of that uh, that uh, we'll make it so that James is not an administrative user and we give him an email address uh, I'm in Australia so we'll stick with the AUD currency uh, James Brown now you can see that every field that has a red star if you can see that it denotes a, a required field a mandatory field you must fill in anything with a red star in it and the role we can't just type something in there we need to hit the green plus which is why it's why I said earlier that you should have your role set up before you create your users um, because otherwise you you have to leave this field empty or, or choose a you know you can't but you, you could you'd have to choose you know something and then come back and correct it later so it's important to do things in the right order uh, we'll say uh, that James can be vice president there's lots of information here that we can fill out and I'm not going to do that but I'll scroll down to the bottom here to show you that uh, you can set up what uh, information can be available on the home page uh, for our new user James because James will be logging in and you know as we saw at the start under home page which I'll go to now after I hit save okay so uh, yep so there we go We're, there's James with administrative administrative access turned off so as I was saying before if I go back to home we have lots of information here and basically that last uh, set of options we specified what James would have access to on his home page but this is quite customizable I can drag this around um, you know, these as well and you know resort them um, you know, it, it is quite customizable so let's log out let's see if I can remember what password I set for James oh <laughs> don't do this there we go there we go actually I should I should really have pointed out James is case sensitive the capital J um, was was my fault there I uh, you know when I created the username I should really have created it all in lowercase or or continue to stand it either way um, but uh, yeah my mistake it is case sensitive as is the password so capital J uh, for the username means I have to type in capital J each time and my password of course is, is always uh, case sensitive these days